I slept in the middle of the bed last night. And I know it doesn't sound like much, but the touch of the cold linen on the right was enough to bring her straight back to me. So I've been keen to leave that all behind, to step away to redefine me. But every time the sun sets, it paints the sky with old memories, candlelit and underexposed, sepia stained and rust burnt, and transports me back to the first time we shared a bed. Or the day we didn't even try to get up, because our legs were pinned down by each other's desire, our arms were weighted with each other's words and our minds were so wrapped up with each other. It would have taken hours to untangle ourselves, even if we'd wanted to. And that day, it feels heady and high, and I'm ready to open my mouth and take everything in, and my eyes, they're like newborn. Wedgwood saucers with a pattern of gold leaf that catches every speck of light and bounces it back, reflected more brightly once meeting my gaze. And that day we were tin men and rocking horses, slipping in and out of character, jesting and performing, capering and cavorting. Our bodies were board games, our hands were the tokens, and we were playing Monopoly on each other's skin. I was the shoe, in love with the idea that from tramping through the streets of London, collecting property like football stickers, I could really become something. And she was the car, because she said to me, baby, I'll take you to places you've never seen before. We'll take the high road, traveling at high speed with the wind in our hair, high-fiving strangers without a care in the world, because this is our kingdom. And in our infinite wisdom, we're winsome and gleesome, and you and me, girl, we're the ultimate twosome. And when we're finished with our hijinks, we'll shift into gear and hightail it home. Ambitiously aimed arrows, 70 mile an hour superheroes. And we'll fall into bed. And when we slept, I slept on the left and her on the right. Even though each night she wanted to swap sides, didn't want us to slip into rhythm, to fall into humdrum, tear our hair out with boredom. We did because even in slumber we managed to disagree. And I needed air, I needed to breathe, while she cozied under the quilt, tried to suffocate me. And the game played on. When we realised the money we had in our hands wouldn't buy us anything we needed at all, when it struck us that all it would take was a slip, was a fall and we were broken. The board was upended, the tokens gone flying, suspended in midair and someone's crying, stop, the rules have been changed. Do not pass go, do not collect 200 pounds, and if you think that get out of jail free card you've been holding onto is valid in this game, think again. In this game, every roll you make lands you on a chance. Every chance you take gets you a fine. In this game, everyone loses. Because we'd been playing this game all wrong. We'd been building a house of cards out of our cards of streets. And it was fragile. These cards aren't even built to stand up this way. And as we climbed higher, we could feel it swaying. And the higher we climbed, the further we had to fall. Anyway, I slept in the middle of the bed last night and it's been two months, almost three, and I've done some calculations. If you type into Google how many days in three years, it says 1095.73. 1095.73 days spent together, 395.679 nights spent living together. But to be honest, before that I slept in her bed so often I forgot the colour of my sheets. And I've heard that to get over someone, it takes a person half as long as the length of the liaison. And that's 547.865 more sleeps, minus 10 weeks. And that's a really long time. But I'm taking it step by step, day by day, sleep by sleep, week by week. And this evening, as I climb out of my dressing gown, turn down the sheets, dim the lights and wish myself sweet dreams, I might make a decision. Tonight, I'm gonna sleep on the right.